I tell you what, I think we're about to find out what the problem is. Give me one moment. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this week's video. Now a few weeks ago I was doing a kind of similar video to this and you guys let me know that you would like to see some of the worst things I have in the shop. Now by that I don't just mean things that are growing a bit leggy, I mean nasty shit. Crispy leaves, stuff that's just basically dying and dropping to bits, stuff that's being completely forgotten about, just stuff that looks really really nasty. Obviously Obviously, I have a lot more things in the shop than this. This is just the stuff that I could grab for you today because my scissor lift has only just been fixed as of literally 20 minutes ago. So I've got a bunch of stuff to show you and the main aim of today is to basically let you guys know that you're not alone. We can all forget about plants. We can all have plants that just look absolutely dire. It's completely normal and I absolutely guarantee you no matter who you are on Instagram, on Facebook, wherever, whether you're a shop, whether you're just someone that loves plants and you have a lot of them, I absolutely guarantee you that every single person alive will have had a plant that looks like this or will have several of these. It's life and that's what today is all about. Plus, as Halloween is just around the corner, I thought it'd be really cool to show you some gnarly stuff because why not, right? So without further ado, I'm going to take you through the plants. Now, I have around about 10. They're each suffering from different problems. I can't necessarily diagnose all the problems. A lot of this is down to neglect or just not knowing that the plants existed in the shop. The first plant I have to show you, judging by the pot, I suspect this was a plant that I used to have at my flat. I suspect this is one of my own personal philodendron white nights. I'm pretty sure it's a white knight because I can see the pinkiness here. I'll give you full close-ups of this, don't worry. You see that there? Yeah, it's got rhubarby pink stems and whatnot. There's not a lot of white on it. Gotta say, there's a little bit on that tip, but there is not a lot on it. Now, I'm pretty sure that's where it's come from because I don't pot plants like this anymore. And I absolutely certainly don't put them into this kind of mix anymore. Not only that, but due to how chunky some of these pieces are, that tells me that's my really old potting mix that I actually did a video on that and I do use it. I just can't use this level of draining anymore because I'm not around my plants enough at home, so they would die if I kept up with this. If you're an overwaterer or you're there regularly to water your plants, that mix is still a fantastic mix. It's just I can't really do it anymore because I'm not there enough to look after my plants. So that's what I think this is. That's why I think it is. It's just, it's a nightmare. There's clearly the original stump in the middle that you may or may not be able to see, and I'm guessing that's just died off, and the plant has somehow found a way to live with no water or anything, and it's growing the most pathetic, and I mean pathetic, stem out of what is presumably the original chunk in the soil. I don't even know how this is alive, guys. I completely forgot its existence. Now, the kind thing to do would probably be to, you know, cut it at the base, shove it in some liquor and get it going, because what I can see now, actually, if you can see near where my fingertips are here, where I'm sort of touching, that there is an aerial root. So I could cut this and grow this and get this fine. This isn't dead by any means. Obviously, if it survived this long, then we're good, right? So I could really cut that and get that going. And if I have time, I will. But <laughs> it's not likely, to be honest. This might end up being here like this for quite a while yet, and it might die. But I'm just being honest with you, and that's what this video is about today. So... Bless him, he's lived this long, pray for him. He may live, he may not. So this next plant is an absolute product of neglect, 100%. This raggedy ass looking plant here would appear to be a type of philodendron varicosum, actually. Now I'm not fully sure which type, it's not labeled, which isn't a great start because if you don't know, you can get a ton of different types of varicosum out there. Honestly, I probably have at least 10 different types minimum, probably even more, but I mean, it's not, it's not ideal, is it? Now, if it was me and I was gonna save this, I would probably cut somewhere at the front and I might even throw away the rest. I wouldn't necessarily spend all the time on these nodes because the value of these plants have gone down quite a bit. It's probably not worth my time trying to get this bit to look pretty when I have a good you know, head there at the node going and I could probably just use this part here. I will try and show you this plant up close just so you can see how absolutely terrible it is. See, the new leaf's actually doing all right. Um, the old leaves, as you'll see, 
are, well, you can see all damage from pests on there, essentially. Um, I've mentioned this a million times, but Philodendron varicosum is literally the worst for spider mites. And I've had it here. Um, this plant has been in quarantine with all the others and they have been kind of left. They've been sprayed, they've been nuked, they've been left. So I guess that tells me from this that we're probably over our spider mite issue. And what I'll probably do over the Christmas time is I will just lob the heads off, plant bees, start them again, they will be fine, keep watching them, etc. But until then, trust me, this isn't the only one. I absolutely promise you, I have several of these. I've got roots coming out the bottom as well, just so you really know how long it's been there. You can kind of tell how long it's been with me. I would never buy it like this, and I don't think any supplier would send me anything like this. So this is, again, it's a product of neglect, but we're getting some really good results up front, if you look at that. That's really not bad. Not bad at all. It's just a shame about the rest of it. Yeah, that's gonna have to stay like this a little bit longer. I will chop it. I will probably throw the rest. We'll see what the roots are like on that part and how much of a viable node it has at the base. That's what I would do. That's kind of where we're at with that. That's some type of philodendron varicosum. Your guess is as good as mine. This next plant, if you can call it that, is possibly the most embarrassing find I have in this shop. I found it 10 minutes ago and I thought, right, I'm gonna remove some of the stuff from the plant, which it will become apparent what I'm talking about. But I thought, you know what? No, that is not what this video is about. This is about pulling plants out as you find them and talking about them and showing people this happens, right? So are you ready for this? This is horrendous. And I mean horrendous. So this plant here, I will stand back with it because it's absolutely horrendous. If you can't already tell, this is a mature Monstera de Bayer, and I can easily prove it by the sheer amount of shit that is growing from its runners. So you're probably thinking, what the hell is this? Right, I'll tell you. So this is probably looking like this because it was a customer return. And judging by the length of these, which I know weren't there when I sold the plant, this was probably returned last year and that is why we have it like this. Now, I've obviously got some rootage here that hopefully you can see if I hold it up next to me, you might be able to see it. It's really difficult, apologies. This has come out of soil, so this is rooted into something else. This cane here has been used in the really long box that it was shipped in to basically stop the plant from thudding uh, you know, from one end of the box to the other one it shipped. So in the box, everything would have laid down like that in a super long box, and that would have been trimmed at the top. Perhaps in this case, the petioles were pushed back. I don't know. And this was done so that, you know, nothing could move. I've got loads of must where everything's just rotted away. It's not very nice. But quite honestly, I don't know how this was even forgotten about and how this wasn't even seen, but it hasn't been seen. Have you seen the state of this? Not only that though, it's quite incredible that this has grown. And I have always said to you guys, Monstera Dubaya, sorry, that's really, really heavy rain. Hopefully my noise canceling removes that. Monstera Dubaya just, it just fucking grows. Like it's so tough a plant. And honestly, this should be evidenced by this because this hasn't been watered. Nothing's happened to this. This is what I'm left with. I could just quite easily cut and propagate all of this, obviously. This is quite, I mean, it's not sellable to buyer, but it's healthy to buyer, if you know what I'm saying. I'll be honest, I'm probably not gonna do that because I have so many of these anyway. I have an aisle which is just here behind me with some mature Dubai at the top of it, and it's growing runners down from the top of the Dubai, and this is happening anyway. So honestly, I'm probably gonna throw this at some point. I'm not really in any rush. Um, it's probably gonna go back into a pile in the corner, but I will probably chuck this out. I might take a couple of cuts, maybe the heads off, the, you know, the end of the vines or something and stick them on the wall, cool. But I don't really have much of a use for it. So that's my really sad, random return that I, I, I don't even know how it's alive, guys. I don't even know how it's alive. I don't even know when it was returned, if I'm honest. I'm saying it's in the colder months. It could have been, it could have been later. I just don't recall selling these since. So I feel like it's the colder months. Let me know what you think. This is, this is some shit. Is it, is it not really? This is some shit. You wanted reality. I give you, I give you reality. The next plant I have to show you is there's nothing really wrong with this plant. It's just grown so gangly. Um, I, I'm sure a lot of you know the story on, on this plant. Well, not this exact plant, but my Thai constellations. Oh, it's just been a journey, let me tell you. And I've never got round to cutting them and propagating them. As well, you will see here, 
on the nodes of this plant. Again, nothing wrong with it, it's just really gangly. Still got the original soil of when I planted it up in the old shop. These literally have not been touched. Obviously, I've had to pull these out of other plant pots, and this is not the worst. I promise you this is not the worst. I have Thai over in a shelf behind me where the aerial roots have grown out, and they're about a meter and a half long. They just tickle you as they walk past. It's quite grim. Yeah, he's nice, don't get me wrong. He's just very gangly and leggy, and there's a possibility I might put them up for sale. Not Nothing this bad, obviously, but I think I'm going to cut some and then maybe sell them as cuttings or something like that to get them out the door because this is quite ridiculous now how long I've had these. I mean, obviously, if I were to cut this part here and then, you know, reroot it, you've got a half decent plant forming there, but what an ugly son of a bitch. Is it not? Is it not? Look at this, honestly. Look at these roots. Look at these roots. Absolutely minging. Um, such a shame. I love Monstera Thai Constellation, believe it or not. I just need the time and the space to maybe cut them, for example here, cut them back at the base, let them grow out again. Good times. I'll let you know what I decide to do with all these because I have so many. I have some right up there on the top of that shelf. I think we're two to three trays back there as well. There's a lot. There's a lot of this. It's a lot of work. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And now for a classic, this is variegated ZZ and it looks absolutely terrible. This thing has only got worse, to be honest. This here was growing really, really nicely. Now it's just not. I can even see a spider's web on it. But if I show you just how bad this is, just to get full context of how shit this plant is. So these are actually propagations and I mean, clearly two of them have worked, which is awesome. That's why we have two. I mean, that's not sellable at any time soon, is it? Really, what needs to happen is we just need to cut them and start again because this is pointless, which is a shame because the spread of irrigation is literally, I'll show you this one up close, right there. That's what you want, is it not? That's that's exactly what you want for your variegation. People love that. This I've been staring at for months and I've been meaning to try and do something to save it. And lo and behold, it's burnt, probably because it's too close to my lights. So that's probably, at a guess, that's probably what's wrong with that. Yeah, I'll probably have to cut that one down and try again too. I don't really know what else I can do. It's ugly though, right? This is really, really ugly. I can't really say I recommend them. Moving swiftly on to these, I can't remember the name of what these were, but I know I hauled it a while ago. Now, don't get me wrong, they don't all look this bad at all. A lot of them have withstood the test of import and they're doing okay. On the whole, I wouldn't say they were great, but obviously these represent the worst of them. And believe me, I do have some. Let me tell you how many I've got. 10, 12 maybe that look just like this. So this is kind of representative of, of most of them that I have. Just not very nice, is it? It's gone all nasty and brown. It doesn't feel like it's rotting, but it is a state and that, I mean, that's just not going anywhere soon, is it? If it was down to me, I would lob these both off and put them, maybe even pot them again and group them up into, you know, pots with the same plant in there, depending on the root size. If it didn't have much root, I'd just start grouping them to save on some space, see what lives and see what doesn't. Because a lot of time in this shop, that is what I do. If I'm not sure on a plant, there's not many roots, they're very small, I will group them because, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but I don't have the most space at the minute. So that's, maybe that's what should happen with this. I'm not very impressed with them though, and I can't see myself offering them for sale, honestly, maybe even at all if they don't improve. So this might not be something you ever see. I don't think it's even a plant that's in high demand. It's not something that's talked about. So I, I don't think it's much of a loss. Sometimes it just happens. Um, things just don't pass my import testing to see if they're viable for the shop. So I'm going to call this one not viable. So you probably won't see it again. I'll let you know, obviously, if something amazing happens with them. But as you can see, they're not doing too great. So we'll just skip over this one because it's a bit pathetic. Now this one's really quite sad. I'll tip it so you can see on the camera. I'm gonna let you guess what it is for a few seconds before I actually tell you. If you can see that there. So that is actually, supposedly, it's supposed to be a medium medium. Um, here we have, it's a root by the way, it looks like it's snapped, oh goody. And that's just a root growing out at the bottom. Because to be honest, this has been in here a while. I don't know if it says on the tag, it does, it actually does. You probably can't see, let me try and show you. There, a medium medium green, uh, was it the 10th of April was that? It's been here a long time. Now this one, this one's my fault. 
I'm pretty sure this one's my fault. I took propagations, they seemed fine. Half of the tray is looking like this, and funny enough, it's only the green form. I do have some of the silver or the blue form propagating, and this hasn't happened. But essentially what I think has happened is I put it on a shelf that's just, the light's just too close to it, and I'm pretty sure this is stress and, you know, kind of like burn from the light. So this could have been avoided. This isn't, it's neglect, but not the same. <laughs> Not the same type of neglect as everything else, I suppose you could say. Obviously, at some point, I've just cut the runner off and there was probably foliage and I've cut it and I put it in something else. But this one, unfortunately, even though it's probably got great root, as evidenced, it's probably not sellable anytime soon because of, clearly, the current situation, which is a big shame. And I need to move the tray and get them further away from the light and then maybe we'll have better luck. So neglect, not the same kind of neglect, but still shit. So that's supposedly a medium, medium green form. They're really nice plants, by the way, um, in real life when you get a nice one. Really, really nice. If you like Monstera and you like Raphidophora, it's kind of like a blend of the two. And I think you would like it if you Googled it anyway. This is going to upset some people. This is my really big, beautiful Philodendron Serpens. Now, I only really have two theories as to what happened here. Again, neglect. He was sat in a corner. What has happened, I can tell you this has happened. He normally lives just off this frame at the back. And if you follow my channel regularly, you'll know that my scissor lift has been broken for honestly about a month and a bit. And this was sat behind the scissor lift. So this has not been accessible for at least a month. Couldn't do it, not safe, didn't want to do it. So I can only assume that either A, this is something to do with the water, even though the rest of the plants in the tray seem okay, or B, it's been burnt by the lighting or by something else. Now, I'm not actually sure which one it is. I can tell you straight up it's not pests. The back of this leaf looks absolutely immaculate, not that I'm expecting you to see from there. Just for proof, let me show you that. Looks absolutely fine. I, I almost want to say water because it's coming from the edges inward. So perhaps because this plant is theoretically larger, it just hasn't, you know, it hasn't had its day. Although I can also see a lot of black root. So maybe it's rotting. Maybe that's what it's doing. I tell you what, I think we're about to find out what the problem is. Give me one moment. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. Yep. This is what happens, and this is a shame because Serpents is a wonderful plant. Is it salvageable? Yes, but something needs done about this. I'll probably do it in the next video because I'm filming a repot with me after this. So this here is what I've just discovered. I've actually twisted that off and it's rot. I do have, do I even have, you know what, I don't have, I don't have any good root left. You can see there, that is the product of rot. Live, on camera, that's what I've just discovered. So forget everything I just said about this bad boy. Now we know why he's dying. <laughs> I hope that we can get him back. I'll probably cut him to probably here, get him in some water and see if we can save his ass because he's serpents and I absolutely adore him. Actually, I'm probably going to cut him lower than that because I can see a bud there. You can see a bud and is that a bud there as well? There's a few buds on here. There's the other bud there there's another bod. So I'm going to keep him, but hey, I guess we found out why he's dying now. <laughs> so that there, and I'm standing in just a puddle of filth, that there is philodendron serpents, and it's a big shame. I will do my best to save him because I don't have many of these, and they're very sought after at the minute for some reason. I didn't think people liked them that much, but it's obviously the fuzzy stems. If you haven't seen the stems, by the way, check this out. They're really, really soft and fuzzy. They're, they are beautiful plants. They really, really are. You can kind of get a sense of what it was anyway. Oh, what a shame, right? What a shame. So do you remember when I was supposed to repot this thing in the living wall patch up? Well, I kind of didn't and I forgot. And as a result, the beautiful alocasia that once filled this pot, and it was very, very nice, is not no more because it's actually managed to pop this is still alive and this has got some great root. I'll try and tip it up for you so you can see. Sorry, it's not the best, but yeah, you might be able to see there on camera. It's not ideal, but it is alive. So this here was and is Alocasia Golden Bone. Um, not the best representation. I really won't lie to you on that. No pests that I can see. If you see any webs, I can confirm it is just actual spiders. There's no way in hell that spider mites are living in here anymore after the, the new pest control, shall we say. Yeah, it's, it's a nice enough plant, honestly. Again, this is a terrible example, but 
This is what happens in this shop. Something happens, things get shelved, quite literally, and we forget about them. Now this is, as I've just said, this is quite salvageable, so I will do something to salvage this at my earliest possible opportunity. But until then, it's probably just going to have to grow as it is. I mean, it's in liquor. It's got water in the bottom of it, so it shouldn't die. It should still just keep growing. But clearly, he needs a lot of TLC. He's got a really good root ball on him, though, as long as he hasn't rotted. So he should recover quite quickly. So I will let you know how he does as well. I'm going to pop him down. Oh, gosh, it's absolute carnage, is it not? Is it not? And the last two plants I have to show you are, it's essentially the same problem. So these are just really bad imports that just haven't done so well. So this first plant, I believe, is Anthurium cyrenoi. Now, the thing is, this is only the one plant that hasn't done very well. Now, I'm told it has virtually no roots, and that could be why it's just not able to take anything up. Because I have other ones. I don't know if you can see them here. To be fair, there's one here that's not doing so well. But there is one here and one there that are doing quite all right. So it's not every plant of these plants that are doing shit. This one certainly is, though, this specific one. Now, I would say Cyrenoi generally aren't the best of shippers, but when you compare them to e.g. a Queen Anthurium, I think they're a lot better, and I think they're a lot tougher. Are they really tough? No, but they're tough enough to be okay, because this probably could have been avoided. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it. It probably could have been avoided, but generally... It could be a lack of root situation, could be nutrients, could be the light. It's really hard to say. Again, there is not a single pest on these leaves at all whatsoever. So I'm not really sure, but I'll give you a nice close up of him. He's, uh, well, he is what he is, isn't he? Here's his other leaf. Let's see if I can swizzle it round just so you can see the full horror. Oh, that's nice. You know, in a really weird way, this is still quite cool looking. I realize no one wants this. Don't get me wrong. But it's still kind of cool. It looks cool on camera anyway. I mean, you know, there you have it. So that's one really bad one. And then, not to make it too separate because it's kind of the same thing. This is another one. What is this? I'm not sure what that is, you know. ID it with me, guys. It's not, it's not Regal. Is it Regal? It's not Crystallinum. I can see that straight up. I actually am not sure what that is. What is that? Maybe it's a young regal. But yeah, this one's really shit. However, as with anything in this shop, keep it long enough, it will grow as long as you don't kill it, obviously. Um, there you go. There's some new growth coming in. So all that's going to happen basically is, you know, I'll lob this off. In fact, I'll do it for you now on camera. I will lob this off and then grow the rest of it. And then we'll see what it is when it grows better. And that is it. Now it takes up less space. Now I can probably grow it a little bit quicker. Now this isn't necessarily going to be damaged when it sits in the tray so that's that and that's what i tend to do with them but essentially guys stuff like this is how it is this happens to everybody this happens to most people on importing things this is not uncommon please don't buy into everything you see on instagram or other people's youtube channels or things you see on facebook it's not real i promise you it's not real i've been doing this solid for what three years now and I've got a lot of experience under my belt in that time with all of these plants and stuff can still inexplicably happen. It can happen all the time. There's nothing you can necessarily do to prevent this sometimes. It just happens. It's normal. It's gnarly. It's part of owning plants, right? Whether you're selling them or not, it doesn't matter. This happens. And stuff like this obviously just represents what can happen to anyone, whether they're importing things or propagating things or they've left something outside or there's been a draft or you name it, it can happen. So honestly, that is what this video is about. And I thank you for your time today. And I thank you for letting me show you some of the horrors in this shop. If you like this video, then please leave a like down below. And if you'd like to see any more of my content, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Fun fact, even still around 50% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you could subscribe for me, that would mean the absolute world to me. So thank you very much. That's it for this week's video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.